Hey. Oh. Hi. <laughs> All right. Good day, everyone. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from Van Vorst Park in Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, somehowyoga.com, for the hybrid schedule. Um, uh, for the schedule, which is in person here, um, as well as through Zoom, you can register for class through ubindi.com. Um, today's class is open flow. If you're working with any kind of special conditions or limitations, make sure that you do modify or skip post altogether. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, so you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, simhayoga.com. If you want to register for class um, through ubindi.com, information also on my website, simhayoga.com. Um, if you're working with any kind of social conditions, make sure you do modify or skip poses altogether, making good decisions about your movement practice so that you don't create any injuries or perpetuate any injuries. Now, if your hips or your lower back are tight, please elevate and sit up on a block with some blankets um, so that you can find a lengthy, tall spine as you find a comfortable cross-leg position. All right, palms face up. Fingers come to be on a mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. <clears throat> Grounding evenly through your seat, elongating through your spine. And start to let your inhales even out with your exhales. Smoothing out your breath, quieting your mind. Three arms together, inhale. Um. Um. eyes closed. Hands together in prayer on front of the heart. Pressing your thumbs into your heart, heart back into your thumbs. Lifting the heart up towards the sky. Setting your intention for yoga practice. Devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself. Your supreme self that lives within your heart. Chanting the mantra for purification. Purifying the space in which you practice yoga. Call and response. Om Pavitraha, Om Pavitraha, Pavitrawa, Pavitrawa, Sarwa Vushtan, Sarwa Vushtan, Gatopiwa, Gatopiwa, Yaha Smarit, Yaha Smarit, Pundrikaksham, Pundrikaksham, Sapahya, Sapahya, Bihyandraha, Bihyandraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes, palms face up. Fingers come back together on Mudra. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Chin toward the right shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the right hand. Left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. And then chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center. Drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles to the head in one direction. Ear to one side. Roll it back. Opposite side, roll it center. A few more rounds. And chin back toward the chest and pause. And taking the opposite direction. And chin back toward the chest again, lifting the chin parallel to the floor, neutral spine. Extend the legs forward, separating your feet. Hands supporting to either side and turning your toes toward each other. And then roll out. Draw in, roll out, draw in. Outer rotation circles. Back to center, switch them around in rotation. Come back to center again, cross your shins and take the opposite crossing of the legs. Raise the arms up high and extend, twist to the right on the exhale. Come back to center, arms up, twist to your left. 
Center again. Side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take back up, other side. Center again, legs forward, forward fold. Take it back up. Extend the left heel to the corner of the mat on the left side. Step the right foot down, maybe about two feet away from you. Pivot to the right heel. With your hands supporting, uh, surrounding your left leg, roll the right knee forward, roll the right knee back. Roll the right knee forward, roll the right knee back. Roll forward, roll back. Stay rolled back, right hand, gently pressing your right thigh away, going into the hip opening. Release, draw back to center. Take the sole of the right foot in her left leg, twisting to the right. Stay twisting, side bend over your left leg, right arm overhead and extend. Take it back up, right hand to the floor, lift your feet and reach your left arm to the back of the room. Threading the needle, left arm, threading underneath your right for a twist. Re-extend towards the back, square back to center, sitting down, looking forward, take the right leg forward, separating your feet about mat swift distance, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. And coming back up this time, keep the right leg extended, step the left foot down about two feet of, away from you, pivot to the heel, and then framing your right leg with your hands to either side. Then roll the left knee forward, roll the left knee back. Roll the left knee forward, roll the left knee back. Roll forward, roll back. Stay rolled back, press your left uh, hand into your inner left thigh for the hip opening. And start to release, take the sole of the left foot to inner right leg, and then twist to the left. Stay twisting, side bend, left arm overhead, and side bending over the right leg. Take back up, left hand to the floor behind you, and then lift, reach your right arm overhead. Threading the needle, right arm threads underneath the left for your twist. Release, take it back up, re-extend, and then take the seat back down, squaring back forward. This time, soles of feet together, knees apart. And then let's butterfly your knees a little bit. All right, come back to stillness. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. And start to release. Step the feet down. Again, pivoting to your heels. Supporting with hands. Windshield wiper your knees side to side. And take it back to center, cross up the shins, roll forward for down dog, pedaling out the legs. All right, come back to stillness in your down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three-legged dog. Right knee in toward the nose and round. Kick it up three times. Right knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick up. Right knee in toward the nose. Hold it here, rounding the spine, high above your left tiptoes. Knee in toward the nose for three, two, one. Kick it back up, three-legged dog. Step the right foot forward, low lunge. Steady your balance. 
Come up for high lunge. On the inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up higher. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen and reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen and reach up. Keep the arms reaching. Bend the front knee. Lean the torso forward to a diagonal and holding here for three, two, one. Take it back up. Wrap the hands back behind you into lace. Broaden your shoulders. Looking up for back bend. Come back to neutral. Arms up. Hands together in prayer. Twist to the right. Hook the left arm to outer right knee. A twisted lunge. Inhale, all the way up and around, warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse. Side angle, right arm to top of the right leg to modify, or the hand to the floor if you can touch down. Left arm reaching up. Extended side angle, left palm to face down, reach forward. Half bind, left arm up and behind you. You may stay here in the half bind. If you want to take a full bind, you can thread the right arm under to catch the other hand behind you for the full bind. Release. Take it back up. Reverse, warrior. Hands to the floor. Right foot stepping back. Plank. In a one breath. Lower all the way down to the belly. Three progressive cobras. Hands alongside the rib cage. Lift up, baby cobra. Belly lower it, stay on the floor. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Belly lower it away from the floor. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Full extension of your arms to Cobra if you have it. And release. Child's pose. Seat towards the heels and fold. And then down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Three times. Inhale, kick up. Left knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick up. Left knee in toward the nose and stay there. Knee in toward the nose. Rounding of the spine. High up on your right tiptoes for another three. Two. One, kick it back up, three-legged dog, stepping, left foot forward, low lunge, then arms up high for high lunge. On the inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up higher, bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen, reach up, bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen, reach up, keep the arms reaching, bend the front knee to high lunge, lean the torso forward to a diagonal and hold. For three, two, one, take it back up to vertical, wrapping your hands back behind you. Interlace with the opposite thumb on top. Broaden, looking up for the back bend. Inhale, release. Arms back up. Hands to the, uh, hands together in prayer, twisting to your left. I knew I twisted. I lost my concentration there. I thought I took the hand to the floor. Now, take it back up and around. Warrior two. Reverse, warrior. Side angle. Elbow to top of the knee to modify or the hand to the floor, right? I'm up. Extended side angle, right palm facing down, reach forward. Half bind, right arm up and behind you. You may stay here in the half bind or thread the left arm under to catch the other hand for the full bind. Then the correction is to then lift the upper torso, lean it back and stacking your shoulders. Release your binds, inhale, come up. Reverse, warrior. Hands to the floor, left foot back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, lower all the way down to belly. 
Again, three progress, progressive cobras, hands alongside the ribcage. Lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower arm muscle all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower arm muscle all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Full extension of your arms if you have it. Then all the way down. Child's pose. Seat toward the heels and fold. Down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside of the right arm in touch. Kick back up. Knee comes into twist, touching your left arm. Kick back up. Stepping your right foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap your hands back behind you, interlace, lift gaze up. Bow forward, devotional. Lift up partially, warrior three, tipping forward to balance on the right leg, reach left heel back. Stay on the right leg, start to stand up, hand to knee or hand to big toe, left hand to left knee or yogic toe lock, extend, right arm reaching out to counterbalance, and when you're ready, open it out to the side. Option for those of you with more flexibility is hand to heel. Begin to release. Step the left foot back down, chair, and hold chair for five, four, three, two, one. Crow, hands come forward, foot and a half, knees to the back of the arms, tip and balance. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, walk back, jump back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside of the left arm in touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick it back up. Stepping, your left foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap your hands back behind you. Interlace, non-dominant interlacing of your hands. Broaden, looking up for the back bend. Bow forward, devotional. Lift up a little bit, warrior three, tip forward to balance on the left leg. Stay balancing on the left leg, start to stand up. Right hand to right knee or yogic toe lock. And then extending to open to the side. If you have better, uh, better extension, hand to heel. Release, step down, chair, hold chair. Five, four, three, two, one. Dive forward, again, yogic squat or second crow. All right, I see the option for Crow into handstand, see what you get. (laughs) 
not me today. All right. Good, Ricky. <laughs> I've done it before. <laughs> All right. Good work. When you're ready, walk back, jump back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right leg up, right knee in toward the nose, kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee and flip. So for today, in the flip dog, we'll step both feet to the floor with the knees bending. Then you're going to shift the weight to your right foot and pick up your left. And then if you want to bind, you can bind. <laughs> See where you get today. All right, so you just want to step the foot in first, your left leg in. All right, so you can start here. Then, if you can balance, opposite hand and foot, right hand to left foot, and kick it up. All right, let's break. Step the left foot back down. Right leg back up, three-legged dog, stepping, your right foot forward, warrior one. Right hand, catching your left wrist, extend, side bending to the right. Back to center, switch hands, extend, side bending to your left. Take it back up, warrior one, open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Half moon, when you take your half moon, you can take the right hand to the floor for regular half moon. You can suspend the half moon, right hand does not touch down. Once you steady your balance, you can take the arms to parallel the floor, reaching forward, that is your full moon. So regular half moon, suspended half moon, or full moon. If you want to then add a bind, a left hand, left foot, or both hands to left foot, Chopasana. Starting to break, step it back, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Taranga, up dog, down dog. Left leg up, left knee in toward the nose, kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee and flip. Right, so in your regular flip dog, left knee is bending, right leg extended. So for today, you're going to step the left foot down and step the right heel in as well. So both knees are bending. You can stay here and just balance or pick up the right foot with your left hand and extend up. All right, when you're ready, break, flip it back, right foot is down, left leg is up. Stepping your left foot forward, warrior one. Left hand, catching your right wrist, extend, side bend to your left. Take it back up, switch hands, extend, side bend to your right. Back to center, warrior one, open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, half moon, suspended half moon, and then transitioning into full moon, and then chapasana. All right, so wherever you are, just work within your uh, level today and see if you can get to the last step. All right, when you're ready, starting to break, step it back, warrior two, reverse warrior, 
Chaturanga dog down dog. Right heel up. Step the right foot forward between your hands. Crescent moon. Left knee comes down. Take the extra padding as you need. Once you set up your base, arms up. For today, let's tuck the left toes under. You're going to start to shift back the weight traveling back toward the left knee and then lean it back as far as you can. Take back up, hands to the inside of the right foot. Turn the right toes out at an angle, right thigh also turns out. Left hand for support, right arm up and behind you, half bind. Stay here twisting, or right hand to grab the left foot and kick back. Quad stretch if you want, square of your shoulders. Draw the left heel in toward the seat as you fold. Lift back up, gate pose. Step the left heel down, standing on the left knee. Extend the right foot forward, turn the right toes in a little bit. Palms face up. Side bend over to the right. Take back up, side bend to the left. Take it back up, draw the right heel in 90 degrees with your right leg. Dig the right shoulder underneath the right knee. Hands can stay to either side and bow forward. Left hand can grab the right ankle, left elbow coming down and bow forward. Your choice. Last option, if you have lots of shoulder flexibility and hamstring flexibility, Kneeling Vishva, right hand to the floor, left hand grabbing the right foot, extend out, and thread the head past your arm. Yeah, even if you just extend out, it's good enough. Yeah. All right. Here we have the extension of the leg, step it back down. Everyone start to break, start to come out of the bind by lifting your torso, then frame your right leg with your hands. Rotate your left heel back, and then fold over your right leg for your pyramid. Got it? Bend the front knee, revolve to half moon, left hand forward about a foot, lope off to left side. Shift forward to balance, kicking your left heel back, right arm up to twist. Once you have your twist, you may stay there or again, binding, right hand to left foot. See the spinal twist, left knee behind the right heel, gently take your seat down, right hand behind you, left arm is up, inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Are you enjoying? Are you having fun? Good. <laughs> Thank you.
Take it back to center, counter twist to the left. Yogi's option, inversion. We're gonna face the back of the room, classic headstand, tripod headstand, if you have a forearm stand or a handstand, whatever you want. Alrighty, starting to finish up. Warrior one, square back forward, right foot forward, and step the left heel back, rise up. Open it up, warrior two, reverse warrior, chaturanga dog, down dog. Left heel up. Stepping, your left foot forward, crescent moon, right knee comes down. Take the extra padding if you need it. Once you have a lunge and you're ready, arms up, in its mudra. Are you okay, Allison? Take your time. All right, if you're taking the option of tucking the right toes under, shifting your weight back toward the right knee, and then shifting back for the back bend. So eventually, right, if you have a very deep back bend, the hands reach for the back heel for full bind. Eventually. I'm not there. I'm not even close to there. So I can't say. I can't demonstrate. Right, I'm right here. All right, that's all you can get. Let's stay there. All right. When you're ready, starting to break, make your way back up, and then hands to the inside of the left foot, turning your left toes out, left side turns out as well. Right hand to support, left arm up and behind you for the bind to twist. If you're going further, you can bind the left hand to the right foot. Quad stretch, square up your shoulders as you draw the right heel in toward the seat. Bow the head down. Take it back up. Um, Parigasana, gate pose, standing on the right knee. Step the left foot forward and turn the left toes in a little bit. Arms to parallel, palms facing up, and then side bend over your left leg. Take it back up, side bend to the right, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take it back up, bend your left knee, draw the heel in, left leg 90 degrees. Dig the left shoulder underneath the left knee, hands to either side and supporting and bowing forward. Or going deeper, right hand to grab the left ankle, right elbow coming down and going deeper. All right, so this is one place where if you're beginning to develop the flexibility of digging the head behind the foot, here's a great place for you to use the resistance of your shoulder underneath the left knee. And the right hand grabbing the left ankle to negotiate and just keep digging your shoulder further and further under until eventually the head behind the foot. So this is where you can use the resistance of the uh, shape of this pose to eventually get your head behind the foot. All right, those of you going further, for Vishva in a kneeling position, left hand on the floor, right hand to grab the left foot. You can just pick up the left foot and hang here. You can shoot the left leg out to the side. If you can thread the head past your right arm and fully extend, go ahead and take.
Begin to release. Unravel. Make your way up. Frame your left foot with your hands. Rotate your right heel back. Pyramid. Lengthening over your left leg. Revolve top moon, bending your left knee, right hand forward about a foot, tipping forward to balance, left arm up. If you're then binding hand to foot, go ahead and take. Got it. All right, see the spinal twist, right knee behind the left heel, gently taking a seat down so the left leg should be on top. Left hand behind you for support, right arm is up, inhale, exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, square back. Exhale, counter twist. So again, stay in your counter twist. If you took an inversion or another arm balance, anything you want. If you, take it, if you took a symmetrical uh, inversion, you can switch to another type of inversion. So if you did a forearm stand already and you have a handstand, go ahead and take it. All right, uh, square back, warrior one. Step the left foot forward, rise up. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, chaturanga dog down dog. Walk your feet forward towards your hands. Bend your knees, rise up chair. Stepping on the left foot, pick up the right knee tree. Solve the right foot in our left leg. Arms up and out. Once you steady your balance, whatever options you want to take, Hands can come back behind you for the heart opener. Side bend to the right. If you have other options and you feel like you want to move into something, some other shape, feel free. All right, so if you have that Vishva Mitrasana pretty easy, maybe standing. Compass. All righty, when you're ready, let's break. Step the right foot down chair. Exhale, dive forward, forward fold, three deep breaths. All right, second side, bend the knees, chair. 
Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee, tree pose second side, sole of the left foot in the right leg. Arms up and out when you're ready. And again, once you steady your balance, whatever you took on the first side, you are repeating on the second side. So if you took the hands back behind you, interlace with the opposite thumb on, thumb on top. Side bending to the left. All right, if you went so far as to take the standing compass, work again. All righty, if you take an option, start to break, make your way back up the tree, and then stepping, your left foot down chair, and then dive forward, forward fold, three deep breaths. All right, when you're ready, walk back, jump back, if you want to handstand back, you can. Chaturanga up dog, down dog. Left leg up for pigeon. Left leg up, left knee comes in. Land the shin to the floor. Left knee, left thigh angles out. Right knee reaching back, level out the hips. Elongate through your spine. Once you're set, feeling pretty good, then you're ready to come forward. Forearms down, or making pillows with your hands. Of course, if you like options, take whatever you want. Three more breaths. All right, make your way back up. Take the left seat down, swing the right leg forward, center your seat. Leg cradle, threading the arms underneath your right shin, flex your right foot. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Four corners pose. Left arm stays underneath your right ankle. Release your right hand. You can take the simpler variation, right hand to back of the head and sitting up tall. Or if you can bind, take the bind with the hands, thread the head past your arm. And then shift back toward the sacrum. If you can free up your left leg to shoot forward and balance on the sacrum. If that's a little bit difficult for you to balance, stay here. Right, and then we took another transition here a couple of weeks ago. Keep the four corners pose here. Right hand to grab the left foot and extend out. Right, it's a tricky balance. Good, Allison. I like that uh, modification. Doesn't have to go all the way out to the side, right? Straightforward is good enough. So it's basically, right, if you're going to shoot the leg forward instead, right, this is Crown Chasana, right? Right? If you thread the head, then it's Yantrasana. All right. Let's break, release, draw the left heel back, swing the right leg back, down dog, walk it out. And right, so as you continue to just kind of evolve with me and take a uh, new transitions and new shapes, right? Just adapt it according to what your level of practice is, right? If you can go too far out to the side or whatever, go forward instead, bend the knee, etc. All right, second side, right leg up. Draw the right knee in, land the shin to the floor. Pigeon, measure out your pose, elongate through the spine, make sure your hips are nice and level. And then once you are set, Make your way forward. In a way, I'm thinking to myself, who needs hot yoga? Humidity yoga is enough. <laughs> I'm sweating up a storm. <laughs> Right, Ricky? <laughs> I see you like. <laughs> All right, if you're taking options, go ahead. All righty, make your way back up. Take the right seat down, swing the left leg forward, and then center your seat. Leg cradle, left leg. Threading your arms underneath your left shin. Make sure you flex your left foot. 
Now, if drawing your shin parallel to the floor and close to the heart center is rather tight for you, you can always angle your heel forward, right? You don't even have to take your heel that high. If your hip flexibility is a little less, you can go a little bit lower at an angle. And just make sure you're working toward the edge that you feel like you are getting a good amount of stretch without stressing. When you stress, right, that's when your muscles start to react uh, negatively against you, right? So they get tighter when you stress out. All right, four corners pose. Right arm stays underneath the left ankle. Either the simplified version, left hand to the back of the head, sitting up tall. Or if you can bind, take the bind. Right, either stay here or shifting back towards the sacrum, free up your right leg and extend. And then finally, if you want to combine Chatush Konasana, four corners, with either Kramchasana or um, Yantarasana, go ahead and start to transition. When you're ready to break, go ahead and release. So work on that. You're getting there. Um, right heel in, swing the left leg back. Take it back to down dog. Walk your feet forward toward your hands. Take your seat down and lowering onto your back. Let's measure out for a uh, bridge of wheel. So walking your heels in, fingers feel for the back of the heels. All right, if you're going for bridge, press your heels down, lift your seat. You can keep your arms parallel or you can interlace your hands underneath you and then walking your shoulders in. If you're taking wheel, hands to your shoulders, elbows up and lift. For those of you where wheel has become pretty easy and you want to take inverted staff, you're going to gently lower the crown of the head toward the floor in your uh, wheel pose and then walk your hands behind the head with the forearms coming down like you're setting up for a classic headstand. So walking your hands back in space toward the head, toward the head, and then interlace your hands behind the head. And then forearms down, yeah. All right, so basically you're going to end up like this. So you want to take the crown of the head, yeah, securely. Then once you feel supported, then you walk your hands behind the head, take the hands into your fists, forearms down. And then it's basically like in like a, an inversion, like a headstand, except you're in a wheel, right? Right? If the inverted staff is easy and you want to take leg variations, walk one foot in and raise it up toward the sky. Right, so taking leg variations could be done in a, a bridge, in a wheel, inverted stuff. All righty, start to finish up. When you're ready, release and lower all the way down, gently hugging both knees in, stretching lower back, coming out of the back bend, now back into a reclining forward bend.
All right, let's take a twist. Keep the left knee in, extend the right leg out. Left arm out to a T or downwards alongside of the hips. Keep, keep it within the mat if you want, and then roll to the right. So rolling to outer right leg, outer right hip for the spinal rotation. Try to keep your left arm, left shoulder blade flat on the floor. Take it back to center, switch legs, switch arms, and twist to the other direction. Take it back to center again, hug both knees in. And when you're ready, step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, Shavasana, final relaxation. And beginning to draw your breath back in. And start to move the fingers and the toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite direction. And then rolling over to the right, coming up to a comfortable cross leg position. And let's take a non-dominant shin on top again. Once you find your seat, reconnect to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep. And let the neck be free. Inhale for arms. Um. Hands together in prayer, bowing forward, feeling in the practice. And I'll come up. Namaste. Thank you, everyone, for joining me here for uh, class tonight.
And thank you for joining me for practice. My name is Stephen Chang, coming to you live tonight from Van Voorst Park in Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, samhayoga.com. Um, you can register for class through ubindi.com. Um, if uh, you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, samhayoga.com. Thank you so much. See you next time.